My name is Tin Raven, and this time, it's always, sometimes, monsters. Um, this is a game I found out about because of RPG Manx. Uh, she's a lesbian YouTuber who plays video games with her girlfriend. With her wife. Nope. She married her recently. Um, so, go check that out. Have a good time. And, uh, let's play some video games. It's been a while since we played an indie game, which is part of the reason why I wanted to play this game. And here we go, because we got plot stuff and I've been ignoring it. Stop! Wait! What the? What the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss! Oh, I should probably give him a different voice. Um, like I said, it's been a while since I've watched the playthrough. I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what to do. Got it. That I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. No! You ain't finished working yet! There's plenty of people I still need killed. You don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. You checked that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here I make the rules. Here I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? I mean, I know we're in an alley, but is this a conversation that we haven't? Uh, can I even... Oh, I can control things now. Okay. Hey, what did I just tell you? You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. Look, if it's more money you want, all you've got to do is ask for it. Name your price and I'll pay it. Whatever it takes to knock some sense back into your head. I don't want any of I don't want any of your money. I already have more than I need. Why can't you understand why someone might not want to do this anymore? Is everything one of those games where like, you get to choose the outcome to a certain extent? I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something all we'll regret. Alright, I'll play a ball. How do I convince you not to make a very stupid decision right now? What's what I want? I want my goddamn freedom back. Oh, I did my voice, not his voice. I want my goddamn freedom back. No more telling me what to do, where to go, who to kill. I'm deciding for myself from now on. Yeah. He's a strong, independent assassin who don't need no man! Excuse me, sirs. Got a minute or a dollar? Hard times all around. Smelly vagabond fuck! Get the... Get the hell out of my way! We don't have anything for you! Oh yeah. Because I don't know who he is, yeah, I'm gonna give him a more mysterious voice in a moment. Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you too. Different date, different street. Who knows? Maybe we used to know each other. Heh, <laughs> can you imagine that? Winding up back here again? God damn, schizo! You fucked up in the head! Get the hell out of my way! Right. We gotta keep things moving along. Before you go through, there's something I think you ought to take a look at. Uh oh! What the hell is this? Well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel familiar standing on the. Standing on this end of the barrel, or would you be more comfortable with your own piece, John? Go ahead, I'll wait. That's right, aim it right between my eyes. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? What do you say about giving mine a spin? 
I don't know what the fool is smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Of course, you can run all this along if you like, and we can be done with it if you wish. That getting you this matters anyway. I want to tell you a story though. One, about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. You only rule of the game. Let me finish. No interruptions. Then, the choice is yours. Oh, we can pull the trigger go right now. Sounds a lot less time consuming, doesn't it? You are wearing a white suit in the rain. Either way, the choice is always yours. Alright. So, I just went on this whole spiel about wanting to be my own man, so I'm gonna be my own man. If you won't put the gun down, fine. Talk fast. There are many roads between yours and mine. But all roads start from the source. Save! Have you ever been dragged to a party by someone? What if the party was life itself? Led by the nose, barely wanting to take part. Did you even get the choice not to go? It would have taken something miraculous to change you. But would you know the opportunity when it knocked? Fell with a friends are sometimes hard to source. A man with an opportunity to spare knows this best. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special, important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. Dude, I'm digging the vibe, man. Whether it was the right choice or not, that's set up for debate. The night they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. Come on, hurry up! Or did you change your mind? You can't invite all these people over just to... Just to leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird. Why can't you just have normal friends? They're all... They're all work friends. Writers, artists, wannabes. You know, like the one I was telling you about. Boss! Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. But just pick someone who's gonna do the job. Do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some fuck up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay. I love you too. Okay. Now, I know that this is the uh, more. This is the choose a character part of it. Larry, there you are. Help us set our debate. Dude, he's not gonna like it. Are you guys talking about the game thing again? All you wanna know is if you ever play a game where you might not end up being the hero. A game where I might not be the hero? Yeah, why not? I'm up for a challenge. See, I told you people would love it. Oh, that's just one opinion. Plus, Larry doesn't count. No offense. Man taken? Whoa, Larry. Great apartment. Ah, the wife picked it out. She doing well. We should toast our house. I bought this rum for you. I like him. He's a rum drinker. I like him. I'm... I'm cutting down to one drink tonight. I've already forgotten his voice, so sorry. But rum does do wonderful things to me. Alright, maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. Okay, so I do... I dig his vibe. Why do you look dead? You look dead. <laughs> he looks so dead. He looks like he just woke up from the grave. Hey, happy birthday. Other than the new job, you got anything else? 
Anything from the wife? Do lectures count? <laughs> don't bother. Don't bother with that. Live it up. I've got this bottle of bourbon we could toast. I'm, all, I'm only allowed one drink tonight. Perhaps bourbon could be it? No, no, no. Maybe later. There's either gonna be. It's either gonna be rum or rum. Wait. Vodka or rum. Hey, you're the host of this part. Hey, you're the host of this party, right? Yeah, I am. Can I get you anything? Well, I was wondering if you had any unoccupied bedrooms around here. Uh, I don't think so. Why? Oh. Nope. Definitely not. Oh, never mind. Dokov brought his van anyway. Great! Uh, have fun? Oh, I will. What? Happy birthday, dude. Hope you don't mind, I brought you a gift. That's really kind of you. Abstinence, man. Good shit, imported from France. I'm only having one tonight. I've never had your abstinence before, though. No. <laughs> Let me tell you, shit fucks you up. Shit fucks you up. Hey, Lene. Congratulations on the new job. Thanks, it's been a long time coming. Well, under though. What do you say to toasting? I've got this gin I want to polish off. Take it easy. Only one drink. Gin does sound like a good choice, though. Okay, let's see what else is around here. Great party, Larry. I'm really glad I can make it. Well, I'm glad you're here, too. Did I tell you about this red rind I found? Give me a second, I'll go get some for you. We can toast, it'll be great. Well, I said I can have more than one tonight, but I'm gonna talk about good vintage. <clears throat> Who is packing the rum? Oh, Larry. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. Is your night alright? Yeah, great party. Just sipping on a bottle of brandy. Did you want some? I promised myself I only have one tonight. Brandy is all the choice. No, I'm looking for the rum. Hey, thank you for inviting me. It's been too long since we caught up. Scotch. I'm going to find the vodka. Someone in this place has got to have vodka. Happy birthday, pal. How old are you now, anyway? Probably <laughs> not the check. Well, then let's toast ignorance. I got a couple of beers if you're interested. Ah, where's the vodka? No! I'm on a quest for vodka! Ooh. That food familiar, where'd you get it? You have to ask Belinda, because I've got no idea. You're really lucky to have her. We should toast, celebrate the night. Tequila! I'm trying to take it easy, give me one drink. Tequila would be a good way to make it count. Maybe later. I already, I already talked to you, right? Did I talk to you? Hey, congratulations. I heard about the new job. Toast. White rind. No. Maybe later. Alright, so who had the rum? You had the rum, right? Yeah. Skis boy, skater boy? Yeah, rum. I get it. We're going with rum. You don't really, like, take a toast with vodka, does it? makes sense. He was a skater boy. I said to you later, boy. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's someone I want you to meet. Always happy to meet the ball and chain. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. Okay, so now, um, there's another reason why that was important. Mainly because that was, this was me choosing my character. I only remember two things from this game. Um, one of which is that this is the time where you choose your character and you make sure that your decision is only you're happy. Um, oh, hey, Joel. I'm actually, I'm great, actually. Things can be better. I heard there would be some cool people coming. Glad to see you can make it. Likewise, Heather. Always nice to see you. So the channel run, but I gotta head out back. Oh, okay. Um. And another thing that's kind of... Ooh. Hold on. Was it rum back here? Did you get a chance to talk to Larry? Yeah, yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on me. Gotta go. He's waiting on me. Okay. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. 
Okay. Okay, so they're all gonna say the same thing? Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. She got music? Oh, she's awesome. Alright. So, hold on. We have a strong contender. We have a real strong contender already. Dog if Dylan Viper here, is there that? Should be after my head. Speaking of my little she-deva, have you seen her? We were supposed to go, uh, do something. Ah, oh, gross. No details, please. Yeah, I just saw on inside. Right on, thanks for the heads up. Eh, what are best friends for? Adam, the show last night was incredible. Robot suits, amazing. Dude, I love them! That thing is hot and sweaty, but worth it. How do you look? Be time okay? Yeah, it was great. Don't worry. Thanks. How you doing? Uh, can't complain. What are you and Dorkip up to? Nothing too much. You didn't tell me he was a musician. Dude, we should jam or something. Hell yeah, for sure. We could totally throw a killer show together. Who are you? Okay. Um... I think I'm gonna go with. Yeah, I'm not going with you. Oh, I didn't even notice the peel things. Yeah, I think I'm. Wait, who's this? I'm, oh god, it's really dumb. But I like her style. Like, I like the v-neck. I like the, like, red to black hair. I like the leather jacket. I dig it. I dig it! We gotta go, though. He's waiting on us. We're gonna go toast the, the battery book. That's, a, that's amazing! What are you waiting for? This is the perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam are working on. Do you think Sam will mind pitching a book, uh, a book alone? I mean, I'd be kind of pissed if I was the out of the negotiations. We can worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up now, the two will be drafting forever. I guess you're right. But we gotta make it happen first. Come on, you got the gifts? Shit, we forgot to sign the card. Here, give it to me. I'll sign it first. You already, you already know what I'm gonna name myself. Like, in all, <laughs> in all caps. Raven! Raven! Okay, my turn. Oh! What's your, what's your name, babe? What's your name, babe? I need a, I need a good name. I need a good female name. I need a good female name. And I don't want to name her Raven either. That'd be dumb. Um. Um. Um, um, I don't know if I'm spelling this right. I'm just gonna keep typing though. Is that how you spell that? Is that how you spell Veronica? Hold on. I wanna, I wanna fuck it up. I don't wanna fuck it up, so I'm, che I'm checking, I'm checking the internet. I'm checking the internet. But spelling of a name. Yeah, okay. That is how you spell that. I was worried I'd gone for stupid. All the best from Raven and Veronica. Uh. Yeah, I want. Not quite. Hold on. How do I. How do I delete it? No! Oh no! Okay, there we go. Yeah, I I thought I was gonna like it, I didn't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry! I'm sorry I'm being weird. Good yeah, no, everyone's good. You're you're good, Ronnie. You are good, Veronica. 
best wishes of Veronica and Raven. Perfect. I don't know why she got first billing, but she got first billing. Oh, right, Veronica, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. Aww. Aww. Good luck. Are we just gonna go out and get my ghost? That's cute. Ah, it's cute. That's cute. It's cuteness. Cuteness is cute. Always, sometimes, monsters. So Larry, before we toast, let me guess. Okay, so I have to actually pick a voice for him now that he's not me. Um, let me guess. You've got a book you wanted to pitch? Just, just hear me out. No need, Raven. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You've got talent, a lot of potent. You've got. I'm gonna try to make him British, even though I can't do British accents. So, I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> You've got. You've got talent. A lot of potential, but you're off. I want to put in a good word in with the boss. See if you can get an advance. That's that's crazy. Seriously, thank you so much. I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting. That's this is so exciting. Let's toast. To ambition. To success. To getting rich! I hate you. I'll toast. Um, is it maybe me? To toast and not fucking up? To not screwing up! <laughs> it really didn't matter who set things in motion. The ranch ride that had started long before that night. This, this version of the story needed a hero though. Would this be the one? Are you ready to be the one? Uh... Yes. I feel like that's more like... Is everything the way you want in the babe? One year later. Dub's Town Apartment. My apartment looks shitty. Holy fuck. Created by Justin Amakani and Jake Riordan. Art by Emilio, Archives Gamasla, Donovan, Leo, and Victor. Music by Leo Destroyer Team, Chad Thompson, Keith Thompson, Sean Hansen, featuring Tate. Choices and evaluation of cost and benefits. Circumstances dictate that the evaluation. Consequence takes care of the rest. In this system, there can be no right or wrong. Ugh, what time did I get in from last night? Shit! Looks like my pebble sleep monitor got reset. I gotta get to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month Arcadian Master Sleep Achievement. Sleep Achievement. Let me just cycle through the modes and reset this thing. Day, night. Day and night, fun. A thousand turn. Day and night, night. A thousand turn. There we go. All set. They say the longest journey starts with a single step. Step, 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 step. Okay. Did he close at the least of my content right now? I've been wearing the same clothes in college. Why change them? I think I like what I'm wearing for now. Turn off the net. Yes. A bunch of old dusty books I'll never read. Oh, that's where I put that dollar. You found a dollar! The couch has seen better days. Nice, I've got some pizza, pizza pouches left. You took three pizza pouches. Clean directions, place in the microwave for two minutes, and they're cool for 30 seconds. Sure beats even frozen. Watch out, microwave today. Pizza pouch. Nothing. 
nine, nine minutes, two minutes. Da -da -da -da. See? Exciting gameplay! The pizza pouches are ready to eat. Here's a bunch of bills I'll never be able to pay. Everything that's not on the desk. No, keep the lamp off. Looks like there's a few notes on my door. Attendant of apartment 104, your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result, and according to your lease, this balance must be paid immediately or you will be evicted at the convenience of your landlord. Your current balance is $500. The entire balance must be paid immediately <laughs> to avoid um, to avoid for the action this is a serious matter and your urgent attempt attention is required. Failure to act in a prompt fashion will leave you responsible for additional charges such as court and attorney fees. Your credit rating may also be affected. Please speak with building management as soon as possible to avoid further issues. 30 days overdue, pay up your deadbeat. It's always something, isn't it? Come see me if you wanted to get coffee before work at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I touched, I vouched for you, and my manager hates stackers. Duck F. At least I got a job for today. You grabbed your apartment key, you grabbed your bank card. Wait, did I, did I not These lamps don't work. This building is a joke. Look at the key hole. Might as well take a look. Back, back. Please back up. Please back up. Die. What a lovely fake cactus. Management isn't. Can't even afford real flowers. Is it? I know it's in here. Excuse me, Miss Teller Wager. Oh, pardon me, Raven. Am I in your way? I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. There never is enough time in the day, you know. I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. There's never enough time to do any everything you want to. Heck, I don't even have time to pay my rent these days. I seriously think I'm done for this time. Where's your girlfriend? Uh, things didn't work out. It's just me now. That's a real shame. You're such a good kid. Tell you what, if you need some money, why don't you come by my place later today? I'm hosting a little get-together tonight, and the place needs to be spotless. It'll be lovely to have some help. Thank you. Thank you for the offer. I can use all the help I can get. Well, you know where to find me. Just come by any time today. Don't wait too long, or I'll get it all... Don't wait too long, though, or I'll get it all done myself. Have a good day, Raven. I hope you find what you need. Oh, she's a sweet old lady. Um, I have to go to work right now. Otherwise, I would go help her. Um, because I'm worried that I forget about her. So, how do I... No. I'm not gonna go snooping on an old lady. It's not nice. Cheap ass landlord. That light's been a problem for months. Alright, um, but that's the save. So I'm gonna call this an episode. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.